In this six part video series, Future Music Magazine is teaming up with Steinberg to explore creative sampling and instrument creation. Throughout these episodes, we're going to use Steinberg's powerful synth sampler hybrid instrument, Hallion 6, to walk you through the full spectrum of synthesis, sampling and sound design techniques. Unlike other samplers, Hallion 6 gives you the tools to create new instruments that can be distributed free of charge and used in Hallion Sonic SE. So we'll dig deep into Hallion 6 and show you how you can customise your own instrument entirely from scratch, including interface components such as buttons, sliders, that kind of thing. In each video, we'll create our own instrument and then we'll give it to you to download for free. Um, but if you don't own Hallion 6, don't worry because you can use Hallion Sonic SE, which is free from the Steinberg website. Hi, Cy and Joe here, and we're on episode six, the final instalment of the series, and we're going to be taking a look at the macro page designer. So you're going to go through, you know, start to finish on designing the own interface. I am. So uh, dive straight in. Um, what we can do is I've got this uh, this basic synth sound here inside Hallion Six. So I'll open the macro page designer extended window, um, and I'll select my program up here, and uh, then. You can choose the Create Hallion Sonic macro page uh, from this top left menu, and that's really important. Um, so we get the canvas that appears here. Now up in this uh, top left GUI tree, um, this is this is kind of like the program tree that you get over on the right, but it's the sort of interface building equivalent. Um, so an interface for Hallion Sonic SE has to be 595 by 390 pixels in size, um, and I've got a bunch of uh, preset interfaces that I've already created. So. Uh, I'm just going to drag one onto here and set it in the middle. And so what I can do now, uh, down in this bottom area, um, bottom browser, I've got tons of preset knobs to choose from. So I'm just going to drag a bunch of uh, interface components, uh, starting with, with knobs and sliders. So as I said earlier, you can design and import your own if you really want to go deep and, and make this uh, look, look completely customised. Um, but we're using the presets here. Now I'm going to whiz through, um, I'm going to add on-off switches, a bunch of sliders, uh, you can have things like drop-down menus, um, and it's all using the exact same method we've just looked at. So it's really, really easy to do. Um, you can get really creative and build your own interface. To assign a parameter to one of these knobs, I'll uh, head down in this uh, bottom area. Um, I can right-click the parameter and select Connect to Macro Page. And then I'll right-click on the knob on the, uh, on the canvas and select Connect to Parameter. So that links them together. That's uh, really easy to do. Uh, the other way to do it is with this parameter list. Uh, I can just drag and drop straight in. I can drag the element onto the uh, interface component and that's assigned. Uh, and you can see uh, in the properties section, you can see what's assigned to a parameter. Okay, so I'm just going to whiz through and set some of these things up.
now these are all relating to uh, one category so these are all to do with the filter so I'm going to select them all in the program tree here and then uh, I can right click and group them all together so it's really important to keep everything tidy um, otherwise it all becomes a mess and you uh, lose track of what you're doing so the red border as you can see around these elements on the canvas you can see that they're now grouped together and I want to add a button, uh, something that I think would be good, would add a button that will turn off and grey out all parameters within this first group. So I'm going to do that by heading into the GUI tree. and I can right click and create a disable group. And then I'll drag this group inside it, like so. And now I'll assign the on off switch to this disable group. And now in, down in the macro testing area, you can see I'm toggling this switch and it's disabling all my filter parameters. Which is exactly what I wanted to do. So now I want my interface to have two different pages that the user can switch between. So first I'm going to create a second group for my second page. And then I'll add a variables folder. I'll right click it and create integer. And I'm going to name this pages in the properties section and I'll set minimum to zero and max to one. So now adding an on off switch to the top level page and connecting both the switch and stack properties to at pages, this will make them talk to each other so the switch will flick between the two pages. And you can use other things such as stacks and radio switches to create multiple tab pages, but we're just going to stick with the two here. you're broadly happy it's time to tidy things up so I can shift the elements around and then just make everything line up nicely. At the top of the canvas up here we've got various tools to help position your uh, interface elements and um, things such as guidelines. Up in the resources tab here, I can keep an eye on the, uh, the assets in the project, the visual assets, and I can delete unused media uh, and just make things neat and tidy. Okay, so what I want to do is boil this down to a Halion Sonic SE preset that everyone can use. So to be able to do that, I'll need to make sure all the source files and assets are correctly packaged up in a VST sound file or a collection of different VST sound files. Um, and this is done using Halion's included library creator. And there are a set of simple logical steps that uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this off camera, um, but you can find the full details uh, in, the, in the Halion 6 manual. Cool, so there's the finished instrument. Um, yeah, it's got all, all my custom controls, interface mm -hmm. components, um, and now anyone can download Halion, Halion Sonic SE. Um, for free, and I can send them uh, the instrument. They can open it up, load it in any door. Yeah. So it's you know VST, VST three, AAX, AU. AU. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Um, that's the end of our six-part series on sampling. Um, we hope you feel uh, inspired um, into creating your own sort of sampling instruments within Halion Six. Um, of course, you could download all the instruments that we've created, and um, be sure to. Like, subscribe, comment, and share these videos wherever you see them. Thanks for watching. So that's all for this video. You can download our completed instrument from the URL below.
If you don't own Halion 6, you can simply download the free Halion Sonic SE player to load up our patch. Be sure to like, share and comment wherever you're watching this video and check out Halion 6 in more detail at Steinberg's website.